Hey there, in today's video, I'm just going to show you a little bit of my workspace. I know some of you have asked for me to show you a video. So I'm going to just kind of take you around um, two little stations that I work at. So let's get started. So here we have uh, just some tumblers. These are 40 and 30 ounce tumblers. I just kind of stack them <clears throat> top of each other. Those are my big sellers, the 30 and 40. I have some miscellaneous tumblers up there, different colors. And these are water bottles. I put names or Zodiac or, I mean, just about anything and everything on there. I don't know how many are in here, but there's a bunch. I got these from Walmart. This is what I'm down to now. I'm not pushing for them because I like to keep stock. And I don't know that I can find these anymore. But anyway, here's some mugs that I keep just for show and tell. And then some kids' uh, shirts. Mostly white. What I have here is um, like ornaments. Let me move these real quick. So all of this is sublimation. I've got like ornaments, some uh, magnets. Um, these are ribbons for the ornaments. Some dog tags. Picked up the wrong bag. Some dog tag chains. A stein. Some plaques. Like badge plaques. And then just rectangular plaques. Some more down there. Got some mouse pads, round and rectangular. A bunch of koozies, sublimation koozies. These are colored koozies. These are camouflage koozies. Some more sublimation koozies. In the bottom, I've got stockings, license plates, and ties. I color code my hangers. So white, small, medium, large, extra large, uh, 2X and 3X. And then I sort them by brand. These are jerseys. And then the next white is Hanes 50-50. And then that's how many I have left. Small, medium, large, extra large, 2X, 3X. And then it comes back to, um, I think this is Comfort Blend. Yes. And then Hanes. What is that? Tagless. And the next white section is Fruit of the Loom. I always kind of playing around with uh, painting. And with those, what I'm going to do is um, put scriptures or quotes on them. And I have two little kid mannequins. And here, <clears throat> I have some mugs. I'm rearranging. There's a box of stuff I need to put up on my business cards right there. Ooh, that's dusty. Anyway, here's my cap press, my mug press, my, this is a heat press nation, a black series, 16 by 20. I haven't used this in a while because I've been using this one, 15 by 15. I've been working on a hoodie. And then here's some more shirts, <clears throat> kids shirts. Um, and then other miscellaneous shirts, some pillows, some storage stuff, more supplies, some bags. <clears throat> These are tote bags. These are uh, singe bags, singe sacks with the strings or drawstrings. They have a couple of names. Here's another little mannequin. Those are some shirts that I've made in the past. Here's some caps and some more shirts on the other side. Ooh, they look like mold. It's a shadow. <laughs> Ooh, that was scary. And then some more shirts. And I'll show you that first. I have to go around something real quick. I have some more mannequins. This is a painting that I was playing around with. So that's a... I think that's... 16 by 10, I'm not sure. That's my octopus. Anyway, here's some more shirts. Again, I separate them by, by brands. This is Gildan Dry. This, oh, this whole row is Gildan. All Gildan. 
but I've got dry blend. I have a small, medium, large, etc. Then I have a ultra blend. I don't know if I can reach back there. <clears throat> then I have ultra cotton. And then tearaway. I'm not sure what that is. I'm short. And so on. Anyway, this is where I do all my packing. My packaging. And I'm sure you've seen this on some of my videos. This is a fairly large uh, cutting mat. I do most of my packing here. And then here's my mannequin. This is where I put on my shirts but before I post or see how they look. I have an apron on him. And this is my tumbler area. I made those workbenches. I made those myself. Something simple. This is my little paint area. I haven't done that in a while, but those are the supplies that I need that I use. I'm going around this thing that I have in the middle. I'll show you in a second. <clears throat> I bought some uh, some mannequin heads for my caps to display my caps. And this is, I'm not sure what this thing's called, but I, I store my supplies here, both sides. Every bin is full. There's down there some more paint supplies. And that uh, tin thing that you see, that's where I paint. And there's some stuff for some more canvases right there. <clears throat> and then here's some balls for tumblers. Sorry, I'm trying to go around everything here. And then here's some displays. My shoes, I have videos on those. <laughs> I have a video on this also. Baby got back. I mentioned that I was going to, it's supposed to be lifelike baby. It's not really lifelike. I thought it was going to be. Uh, it's it's kind of weird though. <laughs> That's cute. It's a little girl. You can't tell, thank God. But look, that's, that looks kind of cool. It looks realistic. Almost look lifelike. It would, no, I don't have a name for it. Just in case anybody comments, I think that would be weird. <laughs> anyway, this is a where pretty much I don't know how it just depends on what I'm doing. Here's where I lay lay out like what I want to do for my next video. Um, next is going to be a license plate, maybe a headband, and this is uh, this will come out soon. It's a little project that I'm working on for caps, but this is pretty much it. Um, for downstairs, this is where I'm at most of the time. This thing is in the way. I'm not sure what to do with it. I keep rearranging and I'm just running out of options or space. Down here is all my paints. <clears throat> this came from Want Liberty Graphics. I wanted to learn how to uh, airbrush. He sent all that to me. I think those are dry. I don't think those are any good anymore. But some little parts for it in that little container. There's the VLR for the, for the, uh, Removing vinyl works wonders. I don't use it that much, not to brag, but I don't really use it that much. But I should have only bought one bottle, not two. They were expensive. Anyway, this is uh, everything I use to color tumblers. And coat them and Mod Podge and glue, stripper. And then there's uh, my packaging, my boxes to send off my packages. There's some miscellaneous vinyl there. I don't really care for, but anyway, that's my workspace for downstairs. I'll take you upstairs in a second. <clears throat> I'm gonna be leaving this this uh this place hopefully by October. I just don't have any more room. I don't want to get a rental uh commercial space just yet. But we'll see what happens. Here I have my, um, oh yeah, I needed to show you that too. That box down there, that big large box down there, I have a lot of bubble wrap in there or those big, uh, I'll show you. I have some boxes in the garage too. That's where I keep all of those. 
<clears throat> so back to this. This is all the shirt bags, parchment, paper. You can, I could never have enough of those. I actually bought too many. I didn't realize I had that many. And the, here I have like foam, Teflon sheets, uh, heat pillows, and then some uh, tea pads, Teflon sheets that I... I had a project for them, but I haven't gotten to it yet. So I've been sending some out for those who do screen printing. I've sent them out. I've sent some to Joe with Heart and Hustle. And that's pretty much it. Some more packing stuff down there. Some more packing stuff down here. I'll take you upstairs now. So you've seen this part. So yeah, that's my downstairs where I'm working, where I work out of most of the time. <clears throat> Here's some some bags also. Coolers. Okay, well I'm going to take you upstairs now so you can see my workspace upstairs. Here's upstairs where I weigh my packages. Keep the faith. Two uh, EJ printers. This one I use for cardstock. This one I use mostly for to print out the uh, 3G Jet Opaque and the uh, Starcraft, which I'm probably going to get away from since um, I can use Easy Subly now for everything. Um, here's where I do my recording. I have this little thing that moves around however I need it to. A microphone. <clears throat> this is actually, actually two pieces. Where's that other one at? Anyway, if you have questions, I can get you information. I have links for these, for these, for these uh, things that I, for everything I use, I have links for. Where's my computer? There's my sublimation machine. Supplies. Here's my Cameo 3, which I love. Let me get all these out of the way. <clears throat> anyway, this is uh, where I do all my cutting. Here I have a bunch of vinyl. I have everything separated. I ordered these, uh, and I do have a link for this again. I order my heat transfer. I'm sorry. I order my vinyl from where are they? I think it's easy. It's not on here. Easy Craft on Amazon. This is a pack of I don't know how many, <laughs> to be honest. But I separate them by color, like all the whites and black and gray together. This is all miscellaneous. But everything else, I keep them separated. These are supplies. All that's vinyl back there. This is my little pulpit. I'm a preacher. I'm just kidding. That's from when I'm being a crybaby. No, that's a piggy bank. Man, everything's dusty. How embarrassing. Anyway, <laughs> this is where I keep all my vinyl and some supplies, like envelopes. Here's all the different papers that I use. All my transfer and freezer paper. Another computer. I'm not going to show you my personal stuff there. And here is a sublimation to cotton. Here I have adhesive and foil. And then here I have a glitter, white glitter. In this bin I have a bunch of different vinyl colors and different sizes. Mostly rolls in here. You can see, I don't know if you can see that good. There's red, black, some white. I can't really see. I have different colors in there. A bunch of a bunch of flat ones on the bottom. Here I have a, a label where I keep my Cricut printable vinyl, and then 651, and then heat transfer vinyl. My scraps. I do reuse my scraps. And again, this is sublimation of cotton. And I'll show you the back of this. My drafting board, my drafting table. I'm doing, getting ready to do my taxes. 
That's always fun. Look at all that paperwork. I do spend that much. It's crazy. So anyway, this is my upstairs workspace. And like I said, I'm not going to be here much longer. I don't want to be here anymore. I need more room. I haven't decided what I'm going to do. Either way, I still have until October. That's all I have for you guys today. Until next time.